Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on another mask that I actually came across at Party City. And I got it for like 20 bucks. It is from Fun World. It is the Ghost Face Bleeding Mask. And I actually put it together, but I will warn you about the actual lines on this. Be careful with them. If they're not hooked up properly, your liquid will spit out, which it did to me. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. This right here is your feeder or your one tube line well it was partially out so I had to kind of twist it back in so you can actually push the actual uh, liquid right through it as you can see it's kind of like a literally a bleeding line but anyway squeezing it through the mask I noticed that uh, it doesn't really work all that well I mean you can see it occasionally bellow down here at the bottom of the mask but outside of that it, I mean it's okay for the price of it uh, but it can work which I'm trying to squeeze some into it now as you can see now you'll notice right here is in the shape of a heart that's the actual pump where you squeeze it here so now you can see it every, see it bleeds every so often uh, oh, I'm sorry let me just See how it bleeds out? See how it bottoms right here? See? Just fills up on the bottom. So I'm not sure why it doesn't seem to want to bleed through the actual mask, but every so often you'll see it running down the mask itself. So maybe I need to do something with the lines. I'm not sure how they did it, or it's within the mask itself. But it's actually supposed to work to the point when you squeeze it, blood's supposed to squeeze through the mask. As you can see, towards the bottom here, it does settle in the bottom. See it? Every so often. And you gotta let air back into it. Say, in order for it to work. See? There. So every so often when you squeeze it hard, it'll bleed through the mask. But anyway, this is the actual bleeding mask, ghost face mask from Fun World. I'm going to show you the actual tag that it comes with. And you can read the actual information on it. Now you see how it looks like it bleeds all over the place. It's probably capable of doing it, but I can't seem to get it to do that yet. I'll figure out what's going on with it. But. And there's a lot of information based on the mask itself. All right, It looks like it's in French or something. But anyway, it's got the pump and everything. Uh... But anyway, I actually found this at Party City for 20 bucks, and I also got another Fun World type uh, ghost face mask, but I wanted another one, and I had seen this one, so I said, nah, let me get this one. So I'm going to add that to my mask collection. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you what this thing looks like, and then I'm going to show you something else that I got from Big Lots. It lights up. It's a very pumpkin-y thing, okay? It's not based on the mask in itself. Uh, but it is very cool looking and I got it for like six bucks But anyway, let me show you the mask here now. I got it on the styrofoam head Now one thing you need to understand about the styrofoam heads on these things is um, You want to keep the plastic if you get styrofoam heads and they're wrapped with plastic Leave the plastic on because what happens when you put the styrofoam mask over top of a mask? Uh, what the styrofoam does without protection and plastic it will pull the moisture from your mask and cause it to crack a little bit sooner than you want it to. So you might want to keep that in mind by leaving the plastic on it so it doesn't suck all the moisture out of your mask. In this case we don't need to worry about it because obviously this is a bleeding mask. Alright, so let's get into this here real quick. It does come with like a flange type thing and I think it's because it probably has the tubes running through the flange itself. I'm going to pull the actual styrofoam head out of it. That's the styrofoam head. Now you see I still kept the plastic on it, okay? That's so it doesn't pull the um, moisture from the latex mask. Any kind of mask that you get and you decide you want to use a styrofoam head, make sure it's wrapped with a plastic bag. Or if it comes with plastic and it's already wrapped, leave it wrapped. Okay, it's not going to hurt it. Alright, but anyway, you can see the blood here all the way through here. It's more like a Kool-Aid than it is a blood. Okay, so... I'm going to try to squeeze it one more time so we can get out of it. 
Yeah, see, every so often you see a bleed down, but it does work once you continuously use it. But make sure that your valves are extremely tight so it doesn't suck air. See, there you are. Okay, it's working now, so for the most part, but it does come with this long tube type stuff. Okay, and it comes with the heart, obviously. Okay, now within the mask itself, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the mask. There we go. Get this out of the way so you can see what it looks like. Now it's actually padded. So it should be very comfortable to wear if you decide you want to wear it. And it's got the tubes right inside here, causing it to bleed through the actual mask. But you want to make sure you don't break the seal on this because obviously it'll start sucking air and it will not work after that. So you want to carefully preserve that by not cracking the face itself, okay? But that's the actual face to it, okay? All the way straight down the tubes as you can see right here. They do run up inside the mask, okay? Obviously there's little portholes that allows it to leak down inside. But you don't want to break the seal on this because obviously it'll start sucking air. And it also comes with the actual band for your head. It's just like your standard Fun World um, uh, ghost face mask, with the exception of the bleeding part. Alright, so what I'm going to do is pull this back over. Alright. Okay, hang on. It takes three hands to do this. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're getting there now. Alright. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, with this inside flange right here, make sure she's not too bent and it retains the shape of the actual hood. So you want to kind of stretch it a little bit. And that's what she looks like. Alright, and we got a phone that likes to ring at the most inconvenient time. Alright, but anyway, that's it on my ghost face mask. I will show you the other uh, pumpkin thing in another video. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys later. This is Pumpkin Horror.